Hey guys, it's the Swirl Cloth here today, and so this Monster Legends Week's video, we have some brand new monster movesets as well as the full Legends Pass for the next season of the Multiversal Era, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first week we have is a brand new monster named Not a Lotus. It is a light fire attacker with Mega Baby Reverse, Baby Reverse, Burn Repentance, and Possession Immunity. So that sounds pretty interesting. Let's go and look at the moveset. So this moveset isn't fully completed, but we do have the completed moves that it is missing down if we scroll down a little further. So let's just go and look at this first and then we'll look at the other moves. So this one can go ahead and deal moderate light damage to all enemies with repentance to all enemies. That's pretty good. It can also apply a precision and immunity to possession. It also has a burn single target and it has a mega baby reversion to one enemy. And then it has a baby reversion. So nothing too special yet. But if we go on down to the other moves, maybe it will have something good. So some of the skills actually got updated down here. So we have all the updated ones. So it now has a fire to all enemies with burn to all enemies, which isn't that much better, honestly. It also has a precision and possession to one ally immunity to possession, that is. And that's pretty decent, I guess. And then it has a baby reversion and repentance to one enemy. So honestly, not too good great moves it just doesn't seem that amazing and it also has another move right here which applies damage boost and true vision which is okay i guess yeah the moves just aren't very great i don't really like them but i guess they're all right so yeah let me know down in the comments what you guys think of not a lotus though honestly i don't think he's too great and then we have a trait for grok max so we have hardened immune to possessed and self torture immunity which are actually pretty decent traits rank 3 is really good the other two are just kind of bad though but rank 3 is very very good and then we have another move set for dot clock shock he is going to be a magic and earth controller with anticipation cooldown activation and time stop skills so those all sound very interesting let's go and look at it so it has a time stop to one enemy it also has an evasion with anticipation and true vision to all allies which is pretty good the evasion and anticipation is only to itself though but that is still very good. It also has an AoE cooldown activation, which is really great. It has a cooldown activation on one enemy. It also has an AoE curse, which is pretty good. It has a single target quicksands and then a single target curse. Yeah, very good moves, actually. Dark Clock Shock seems very, very good. I do like him quite a bit. And then we have some new ancestral relics right here, which are all Cosmo Civilization relics, which sounds very cool. We don't know what they do yet, though. But yeah, the names are very, very cool. I do like them a lot. And then we have that you'll be able to get a golden snowflake where you can just get a free mythic. You can get these out of pretty much any event. They'll be going on at the same time as the new Christmas chests. So just keep an eye out for all of those events coming very, very soon. And then we have not a Lotus's trait right here. We got tough anticipation and area possession immunity. Those are just kind of bad traits. I mean, they're okay, actually. They're decent. But they're not super duper good. But yeah, I do like them a bit. And then we also have Not a Lotus's description if you want to go ahead and read that. And then we have that there's going to be a multiplayer mode update, which is pretty cool. You'll be able to get Sally's for the PvP monster out of the Legends Pass, which is all right, I guess. And it is for free, so I do like that. Free stuff is always good. So yeah, that is very, very cool. I like that quite a bit. And then we also have an upcoming mini maze for Fiddle Herald and Mortal Ming. If you need either of those monsters for books, you can go and get them out of that event. And then we have three upcoming monsters, Bookkeep Irion, Enforce Irion, and Khan Kesko. If you want any of those, they all sound very, very cool. I do like the names quite a bit. And then we have the Multiversal Era Season 2 event checklist. A lot of them are actually confirmed. Actually, all of them are confirmed. So if you want to know where any monsters are going to be in, they're all right here. Not a Lotus is going to be a Tails monster and Dot Clock Shock is going to be a Team Race monster. Those are the two that we looked at recently in this video. And then we have some images for both the Legends Pass right here. We have the Paid Monster and the Free Monster. And we also have the Xmas Card Flip Challenge right here. So yeah, both look very cool. The Paid Monster up here is going to be a Wave Blaze. So that is what this monster is. And then Jolt Lean is going to be the free one right here. And yeah, they both look pretty cool. I do like the designs quite a bit. And then, of course, none of these monsters are new out of the card flip challenge. The only new one, I believe, is not a Lotus, which is the one on the little thing right there. At least I think that's who it is. I could be wrong. Actually, it's Comet Storm. That is not not a Lotus. This one right here is Comet Storm. We have already seen the design before. And yeah, he's going to be the PvP monster. So I don't know why they show him right there. They usually show the Tails monster right there. But I guess they're showing the PvP monster right there. And yeah, you can get his cells out of the challenge right here. So yeah, go and get him out of this event and the multiplayer monster event. And yeah, that is going to be for this video. Let me know down in the comments which monsters you are most excited for and which events you are most excited for. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Never to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.